All right, let's go over today's trade. So, so I, I'm recording this. So if you go to day trading the futures and play this, uh, this will be today's recording. All right, so we're down here this morning when I got on the microphone this morning. We're right at this level. I got on around 8, 18, 8, 19, 18, 20. So around 8, 20. So we're at this level live this morning, right, in the trade room. I said we're looking for a retracement sell inside the zone. It's setting up nice. The reason I said that is setting up nice is we had our longer time frame. Our longer time frame over here was already in a downtrend. You can see we were already red right red on the 8 sim rank this is our largest time frame so what i was looking for we were down here at this level also in the larger time frame and i was chatting in the room and i said on the microphone we're looking for this retracement zone cell i want to look for a zone cell it's setting up real nice because my time frames are all green i got my 8 sim rango and my 5 sim rango they both are showing red cell zones all right, so I got a red cell zone here. Let me skinny this down. So when I was on the microphone right there, at the same time, we're at this level. We're both at this level. But notice why I was looking for that trade setup. We're going to go over the entry technique inside the zone so you can understand how I can use this DS below because some of you are a little bit confused by that. So how you can get some good fills inside the zone. So if you... When we're down at this level, I said, listen, we both we got all time frames agreeing. I got the larger time frame in a downtrend. I got my best zone in a downtrend also, ATR red. So we're at this level. All right. Let me blow this up. This gives you a big heads up. And this is how you trade the system. It's not very it's not very difficult to understand. This is a very leading indicator. It's not lagging because it's trading based upon volume and order flow. So we're down at this level at 8.20 this morning. I'm looking for this zone cell. The first thing that you have to do is you have to make sure the ATRs are red or green before you look to place a trade. Secondly, that's not enough. The guts to the system, and this is a proprietary system, there's no system out like this in the entire world that I know of, is that uh, I built this from scratch from, from the ground up, is that when these green speed bars start printing, when they start printing, that tells you you got a possible trade. We're trying to catch the rolling position traders. I call this a WPT trade, rolling position traders or rolling position algorithms or algos. So when you have the red bars that start printing, you get the green bars to start printing. So we knew this way ahead of time, though. So I'm talking about this trade all the way down here at 820. The zone finally hits at 830. So you had a 10-minute heads up. This is not fly by the seat, let's, let's get this every single second. Oh my God, it's fast trading, here we go, here we go. I mean, you got one setting up down here right now, over here to the far right if you look on, the, on that ticking live now. So my point is, is that you get big heads up coming into the zone. All right, so the, the key then is that if we know that we have an ATR that's going down, we look for green speed bars. So the only opportunity you had to sell this morning is green speed bars here, green speed bars here, and now this trade that's working right now, green speed bars here. All right, so you only have three opportunities to get short according to my methodology and how I built this system. So why are we trading at those levels? We're trading at those levels because I want to catch the counter trend traders. All right, I want to catch the rolling position traders. I want to catch these traders that said, hey, the market's down too much. It's going down so far that I want to catch these traders that think they are smarter than the market in trying to catch this push up, trying to catch this push up, trying to catch this push up. So what we want to do then is we want to try and time this inside of the zone to try to get filled at the zone or right near the peak of the zone. So to do that, you can use this oscillator below. Now this oscillator, let me blow this up real quick. This oscillator, we call it the DS. This oscillator below, the best way to look at this, and I'll, I'll put over a uni wrinkle bar. A lot of you guys trade unis. Listen, once you get an ATR that prints red, and once you get green speed bars, and you're at the zone or inside of it, you can use any entry technique that you want. I don't care if you use tick bars, uni bars, 
or you can use, use my Rinko bars and use this chart to use this DS. However you want to do it, but it's the same technique. All right, the guts of the system is this ATR and these speed bars. We're looking for opposite color speed bars to tell us when there's volume spikes in the market, excuse me, catch and rolling position traders. We don't care about these red speed bars because that's with trend. We're trying to catch the rolling position traders against trend on the green speed bars against ATR trend. That's why the system is so successful. So once we get the green speed bars inside the zone, then how, how do we pour ourselves in? Now, Leo was in the room, Derek was in the room, and they got filled, and, and, and the fill that, 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 that should have occurred, and the room was 94. So where the crosshairs are at right there, there's your fill. That's your fill right at 94. You should have been 94 plus or minus one tick or so if you're getting filled according to getting filled inside the zone. If we are going to try to get filled when the DS crosses below 20 already, now some of you do this very, very well already because you want confirmation. So a lot of you are using the DS20 that crosses down through the, through the 80%. Well, if you cross down through the 80%, your fill is going to be down here right there around 90. Your fill is going to be 90. If you're trying to get to the zone, though, if we're trying to sell at the zone or inside the zone, then what we want to try to do is we want to try to time it inside the zone. So a technique that I like to use is I like to use a technique where you get the bars, and I'll show you a Rinko bar over here too that does it. I'll show you Uni bar. I'll blow it up. So I like seeing these bars sandwiched together. Now this is a one one a one six six uni, or you can use a one one five uni. I want to go larger than a one one ten ten. It's a one six six. This is how it's, I got filled at ninety four up there on the one six six. You can use a one five five if you want. It's a little smaller. I wouldn't go less than one five five. Um, it's just too fast. But one five five one six. I'm mean, using a one one eight eight that I showed you. But you know. What I like to see to get filled inside the zone, so let's say this is a zone right here, right? And I'll show you on these charts too. So let's say this is a zone. Let's say that our zone, whoops, I don't think the wrong chart, there we go. Let's say the zone is here. Let's say that's your zone, okay? What I like to see is I like to see the my DS sandwiched on top of each other or they're overlaying on top of each other, above 90 or below 10. Once I see that and I'm inside the zone, I'm ready to pull the trigger. So what you want to do then is you want to see when you get separation of that 8, when that 8 starts separating and gets below that 90 or 80, that's the time to look to get filled. Your fills should be right at the low of, depending how you do it, if you do it when the DS crosses, right in between here, this is your cell zone. You should be getting filled there to here at the low of this bar. So if you go back and look, that should be your cell zone. Okay, your stop is two ticks above that swing high. So if I put my chart over here and then I look at the Rinko, you can see the separation of the eight when it starts separating. And that's telling you this is about ready to roll over a high probability chance it's going to roll over inside the zone. So right when I see this eight separate from the 20, start separation, you can look and take a stance inside the market at that level if you're trying to get filled inside the zone. Now, if you guys want confirmation, right, if you want confirmation, you can, this is the 8 pulling you in, and this is the 20 pulling you in. You can use any DS that you want. On the strategy that I'm getting out to you guys, you can, you can see which strategy, I mean, any one that you want. I'm just telling you, you're not going to get filled inside the zone if you use a 20 as a pull in, all right? You see some of these traders where Leo got filled at 93 and 94, and Derry got filled at 94, and I said the fill was at 94. You're like, well, how'd you get 94 when the DS is crossing 20 and I'm getting filled at 90? Because I'm looking for confirmation. All right? So you can tell the difference in the 8 and the 20. Here's an 8 pull-in. Look at the difference. That's a pull-in from an 8 getting filled. Here's a retracement, an 8 getting filled. Versus a 20 getting filled down. Here's a 20 filled and the 8 gets high.
higher. So what I educate traders to do is listen, play with it, play it inside the zone, see what fits your trading style. What I like, and this is my personal preference, my risk tolerance is totally different than yours. We're in an educational room. I don't tell you this is definitely you have to do this. We're not here to do that for you. We, we, we give you an edge in the market. That's what these trading tools are for, to give you an edge. I'm not here to say you have to do this. This is the best time frame. You have to pull. No. We give you the tools to be successful, and you can pull yourself in any way you want to pull yourself in. I'm just showing you how the great te the, the techniques I like to use in, in, in these markets, so with the system. So if you get inside the zone, I like that separation right there, that first separation of the eight. Right? It's a really good way to do it. So if I look at this last cell here again, if this is the zone, and this is just live now, that's happening right now. So let's say this was the zone then again, right? Let's say here's our zone, and we're getting pulled inside the zone, right? Pulled inside the zone. I'd like to see this. I'd like to see, oops, I'd like to see the, 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 my DS down below. I'd like to see them sandwiched on top of each other. I like it above 90%, above 10%. See, you can't even see which one's red or magenta. They're both sandwiched on top. When I see the first separation and what happens, you get the 8 DS, it goes down immediately. Boom. If it goes down immediately, I'm looking to enter the market immediately in between here. Immediately. Oops, keeps hitting the wrong chart. I'm looking to get filled right there. If you wait for the 20 to close, you're going to get filled here. In the low of this bar. So 75 and three quarters versus 76 and a half. All right, three quarters, maybe a point difference. You get confirmation when this goes below. If you want confirmation, you're definitely rolling over. I'm just trying to show you how you can get filled inside of the zone. Inside the zone. Does that make sense, everybody? Cameron, does that make sense? Everybody, does that make sense? How you can look for timing these trades. When the, when the stochastic is on top of each other, when they're sandwiched on top of each other, the first, re, the first breakaway you get from the smaller DS, that's an indication that it's going to start rolling over. All right? That's exactly what happened at this high. So if you want to go back, traders, at 8, uh, 8.30 this morning, we had a big heads up. I gave traders a big heads up. I'm looking for a cell retracement on the microphone. I typed it in the room. Everything lined up. My 8 and 5, that's the best alignment you're going to get in the room. It came into the zone. I got separation of the 8, and it goes right down through the 80% of the 20. That tells you that is a good fill inside the zone. If you want confirmation, some of you traders like that, wait for the 20 to cross, you're getting a lower fill. But you get confirmation that we are rolling over. All right, any questions on that? 